see the toxic nature of the gas to this so-called juice jug it's got it all popcorn out I put a few drill holes here which will serve as drain points or you can see I put a little tied off loop through there where I can take here I'm just looking to have a little bit extra backup because um, my 2.5 gallon tank last pretty much all day but it's always nice to have a reserve this essentially because it's molded to the shape here of the yeti fits right in there i'm taking advantage of that using it as a cradle and that is going to be much better than the toxic brew that this junk look at me in that gasoline is just eating this it still smells like fuel it's just like absorbed inside of that so I need to let it air out some more. Converted fuel can, which uh, is my turtle cradle. After the massive fail, looks like I need to fix it so it doesn't wobble so much. Cut a hole in it. Now I'm storing some tools and dry bag and a nice little seat to sit on. Also doubles as an emergency um, you know, someone's hurt and laying in the snow, that keeps the heat up, so it doubles up as a emergency thing too. But it's handy to pull out for a seat, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, this is how I ended up converting the um, turtle cradle, my own invention. After the failed juice jug idea, I just put a, after I cut this out, I put a strap right there. I've got a dry bag with um, some essentials in there like a uh, micro start battery backup and a few other goodies in there, a toe strap and I could add more. Last ride I had a bag of chips in here survived nicely um, and uh, enjoyed a snack part way through the ride. There's a few other things you could probably fit in there and this right here is an actual juice jug and that is not white grape juice or iced tea in there um, what we got here is a genuine ocean spray bottle of non-ethanol fuel and it's looking very clear Oh wait, I see one little thing floating around in there, but that's minor. It's probably resi residual from when there was actually juice in there. So what I'm going to do is probably filter this back out, but I've just been testing it. I'm going to open it up and look at if there's any damage to the cap, but so far that's like three rides. No visible damage. And that's the look inside there. I just drilled holes right here and ran some st straps through there with a knot that allows me to connect I could do more of that if I need to and uh, anyway this is holding up pretty good I'm not sure how long this will be good for but damn sure it's good longer than this crap this uh, RPM driven created these things took a lot of people's money and then disappeared off the face of the earth I guess they're in witness protection in Canada or something but look at the what the fuel was doing damaging this these juice jugs are much safer for fuel and you can buy these at the store and enjoy some juice and then uh, set it up so right here I just cut it just enough that this stays secure in there and doesn't flop around too much and create abrasions to cut through that but so far so good and I just set this up and 
with that strap on there. I was going through some crazy stuff with that setup the other day. And that, my friends, is the new and improved uh, turtle cradle. Oh, we got some interesting big footy type trees in here. Check it out. Uh. 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 This ain't the way it's supposed to be. BS. This ain't the way it's supposed to be.